Hey everybody, they really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Collar X Malice. Kay caught us while we were waiting for our drinking date with Psyche. Well, not date, you know, we're old friends. It's not a date date, it's just our hanging out time. So let's shoulder on. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Huh? I blinked a few times in confusion at his words. Entranced by the gently smiling eyes, I thought... But you're the honest one here. And that was precisely why I feel even more guilty. Uh, if, hypothetically, if I lied to hurt you, what would you do? I would be a bit sad. His expression turned sad when he said that, and in that moment he looked fragile, as if he could disappear at any second. Oh, he's such a little puppy dog. How can he not be honest? I was worried about him, but he said he had to go back to work and waved goodbye and left. I do think I should be wary of him, but somehow I felt calm around him. I don't want to suspect him. I still couldn't calm down when I sat down in the bar together with Saiki. Hey, what are your orders? Um, I'd like an oolong... Two beers. Saiki... I'm happy you invited me, but I don't think I can drink today. What? Well then, one beer and... Oolong tea. One beer and oolong tea, okay. Please, wait a moment. After I calmed down, I wiped my hands with a washcloth. Not only am I tired, I'm also meeting with Yanagi and the others later. It'd be a bad idea to drink now. Come on, one drink couldn't hurt ya. The moment I thought how it was sad that I couldn't accompany Psyche. You promised you'd come with me a while ago, too. And here you're drinking tea all by yourself. What is this? S sorry it's just, I almost haven't slept and I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just you coming here is enough. I was looking forward to day two. It's been a while since we've gone out drinking together. I'm happy to hear that. But, well... Don't push yourself too much. Letting stress build up isn't good for you. Huh? I saw you at work today. You seemed really on edge. Have you been stalking me, Psyche? I was worried it was more than just lack of sleep. I know that people in special prevention have their own troubles to deal with. If there's anything I can help with, don't hesitate. Just ask. Psyche. Maybe it was because I was tired... But hearing his words, I got a bit teary-eyed. Uh, but this month I'm broke, so if it's money you need help with, then count me out. Oh, you. What good are you, then? Uh. I felt a bit silly for getting all emotional, but that's psyche for you. No, but cops are human, too. Sometimes being broke just happens, no? Yeah, that's true. Normally I should be the one treating you. But I'm super grateful you always agree to split the bill. I don't mind. We've done that ever since we first got to know each other, after all. While we were eating, the waitress bought her drinks. No, but you really get me, Hoshino. You see, I went drinking with some other guys on Koban duty, but... When I said I became a cop because I wanted to make the world a happy and peaceful place, then they just started roaring with laughter. What's wrong with that? You think it's a childish dream, huh? R right You are preserving the peace in Shinjuku right now, after all. Yeah. And say what you want. The kids think I'm pretty cool, too. I think I understand. It's because it's easy to get along with you. Yeah, well, speaking of which, Hoshino, you had some sort of serious reason for joining the police, right? I don't know about serious. I, I just felt that as long as there are people in trouble, I want to help them. Ah, right, right. You bought a lost wallet to the police station, and the guy thanked you so much. Something like that? Yeah, I did a very small thing, but that still meant I was of use to someone, and it made me happy. Hmm. And now, as part of the special prevention team, you hear out those who are in trouble. You are, without a doubt, being of service to someone out there. You think so? I hope that's the case. If I say it, that means it's true. But, well... Saving everyone would be a difficult task. So, at least help those people you can reach. If you see someone around being sad, that means you want to help them, right? Yeah, that's right. I felt 
felt like I was able to remember my resolve thanks to Psyche. Right. Because of what happened, I stopped seeing those around me. Right now, people in Shinjuku are forced to live in fear. Even now, right at this moment, it's possible that someone's being targeted by Adonis. The collar is not the problem. The X-Day incidents are the root of every issue. My role is to ensure the peace within Shinjuku. If by investigating the incidents in some shape or form, I can manage to help someone, then... If I can make it so that there's even one person that doesn't have to live in fear for their life anymore, then I should do what I ought to do as a police officer. This isn't the time to hesitate. Psyche, thank you. I feel a lot better now. Uh, no, I don't really get it, but if I help, then it's all good. Okay, the mood's good now. So, time for another beer. Yeah, maybe not. Is he drunk already? <laughs> I'll watch over everyone, so... Psyche, you drank too much. Come on, let's go back already. Psyche, who'd kept drinking, was now splayed across the table, sleeping. I kept talking to him and shaking him, but I knew that he wouldn't wake up so easily once he got to that point. Psyche! Psyche! Come on, wake up! Stop pulling. Popular guys like me have it tough. Seriously, he always drinks too much, even though he's kind of a lightweight. Uh, oh, a text. As I kept watching Psyche, who started mumbling something under his breath, I pulled out my phone. From Yanagi. Are you still at work? It's from Yanagi. Wait, it's already time. Looking at my watch, it was already past ten. Sorry, I'll be heading there right away. We can meet you no matter what time it is. Just come here after you're done with work. Tell me once you know you'll be able to come. It's okay. I'll be there around eleven. All right. One of the guys is outside right now, so I'll let him know. After hurriedly answering the texts, I put the phone back in my pocket. Excuse me, can I have the bill? Sure, just wait a moment. Am I paying the whole bill now, Psyche? You're too drunk to pay. Psyche, get ready, we're leaving. <sighs> I talked to him all the while pulling on his arms, but it didn't seem like he'd be returning from the world of dreams anytime soon. Oh, come on! Psyche! Uh, y yes <laughs> that woke him up? Oh dear. He's stumbling all over the place. We somehow made it out of the bar, but Psyche was swaying on his feet. Once we get to the main street, I'll call you a taxi, so hold on until then, okay? Oh, I'm okay. I can walk home just fine. I could even run home. That's impossible! Uh, in front of you- Oh. Before I could pull him away, Psyche bumped into the person walking in front of him. I'm sorry. Uh. The person standing there turned out to be Anomoto. You? Why are you here? We looked at each other in surprise, as clearly neither of us had been expecting to run into the other in a place like this. Then, Anomoto glanced at the dead drunk Psyche and frowned. Wait, you went drinking? Didn't you say you'd come to the agency today? Um, I'd already promised Psyche I'd come with him before all this. I texted Yanagi and told him I'd be heading there right now. Hmm. Hmm. He seems to be kind of... mad? He glanced at Psyche for just a moment. Is he your boyfriend? Huh? N no We're not in that kind of relationship. Hmm. Denying it only makes you sound more suspicious, but I guess it's none of my business. First he asks, now it's none of his business. Well, seems to be pretty drunk. So, what are you going to do with him? Suppose you can't leave him on the street, so you're going to call him a taxi or something? That's... that's right. I'm worried about him, so I'll make sure he gets home. Uh, huh? By that you mean, you're going to go to the man's house? Oh, good lord. Y yes, that's the idea. Uh, that's, uh, isn't that sort of, you know, a bad idea? Huh? I've already done it a few times before, so... Don't back away from me like that. Uh, 
a few times. You, even though he's not your boyfriend, weren't you a bit too careless? For some reason, he staggered a few steps backward, as if he just received a shock. Um, Anomoto? You sure you're not interested in him? Well, I already said it's nothing like that. You getting all fired up is only making this more suspicious. And besides, if you go drinking just the two of you, you can't blame others for assuming something's going on. We used to be classmates in police academy. And Emoto looked at me with suspicion in his eyes. What's the big deal? Who cares even? Why is he looking at me like that? As he kept accusing me, even though we barely knew each other, I started to approach the limit of my patience. And Emoto, if you don't cut it out, I'll get angry. What? Besides, you're already angry, aren't you? It's because I've been telling you over and over that you're mistaken, yet you're not listening. <sighs> huh. We stared at each other in silence. Ugh. What is this? I can hear a voice echoing inside my head. Psyche stirred and opened his eyes. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Huh? Uh, um... I had no idea how to explain my relation to him without mentioning what I got caught up in. Hmm? You can't say? Then that must mean... I get it, he's your boyfriend! What? what? Oh, come on, it's nothing to get really pissed about and get in each other's faces about. You should be looking at Psyche all surprised, not at each other. Huh? No? Of course not! Right, who'd ever want to go out with a woman like... With a woman like what? Um, no. Uh, I mean, in contrast with your delicate exterior, you're a bit more spirited than I thought. What did you just say? Ugh. Anyway, you're not my type. <laughs> you're not my type either. Uh, huh? I was just yelling back at him without thinking, but for some reason Nanamoto froze. Um... Uh, uh, I see. That's good. I'm not your type. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I mean, was it attraction at first sight and he's kind of upset about things or what? I don't know what the deal is. Maybe he's got some weird background. I guess we'll find out in the future when the game actually comes out in English. Oh, I need to wait so long. I hope it comes out sooner than I am expecting. I'm not expecting till fall. Or maybe even next Christmas, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, we still have a couple more episodes left in Chapter Zero here, so we're going to keep continuing for a while. Hope to see you for that next episode or some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.